Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable, What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and, upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman? having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. The Pharisees and teachers of the law were considered respectable members of society since they belonged to the so-called religious elite. They faithfully observed minute prescriptions of the law. They took pride in being conscientious but looked down on those outside their circle. Tax collectors and other outcasts became easy prey of their indignation. Jesus' behavior towards the outcasts was radically different. He did not put a barrier between himself and the outcasts. His non-judgmental ways encouraged them to draw to him and to enjoy his presence. In the Gospel, he makes a stir when he preaches to a gathering of tax collectors and sinners. Naturally, the religious elites are disturbed that Jesus also eats with sinners. The message is unmistakable. Jesus is in solidarity with sinners since he is sharing life with them, as symbolized by the breaking of bread with them. Jesus was able to make a positive impact on people's lives by His words and actions. He spoke to them of the Father's kingdom. He was able to connect with other people not by putting Himself above them, but by being in solidarity with them.